Yo. Yo. What are we doing? So I got a question for you. Do your kids have like uh, attention span issues? Sure. Because like you know they're doing these polls and they were talking to the you know Gen Z millennials, uh, mm. Gen Xers, and this thing was talking about live sports. But I you know we've heard for a long time now that kids have they want snappy, short, quick content. Sure. At some point, TikTok beat like all the streaming services with a certain age group for the amount of media consumed in a week or how much okay. screen time or whatever. You know, it was beating Netflix and, uh, and the other stream. It might have even been like combined that it beat them with certain generations. It, you know, young people who were on TikTok all the time, which apparently is a lot of them. I don't sure. know if it's most of them, but it seems like it's a lot of them. So I'd never thought about this, but they, they were talking about live sports and trying to figure out, because I guess they're worried that the younger generation won't sit and watch a live game. And on it, TV? On TV. And what they were saying was, so not only do the majority of Gen Zers get their information from their phone and get media from the phone, they also get the majority of their sports from social media. So they watch highlights sure. on social media, Instagram, TikTok, whatever. We all used to do that. There's no different than ESPN. Yeah. And I, I look at highlights. I mean, I follow a couple of baseball things, probably stuff you told me to follow. Yeah, but even before all this, it was, you know, that's what made ESPN famous. I didn't yeah. have to watch all the games. I could just watch, you know. What was that show called? 25 Minutes of Highlights. Yeah. And then, Wonderful you know, World of Sports? No, no, just it was, ESPN. It was, it was just okay. Right, okay. It was just, it was just a, a nightly show on ESPN. Okay. Okay. And, and, yeah, I mean, you know, that's not a, a new thing. I get what you're saying for the right. highlights. But you still had your teams, and that was kind of a good way to keep up with other teams, too, because you're probably not going to sit and sure. watch those games, or maybe you couldn't sit and watch those games. But they're saying that now kids, basically your son's age, are unlikely to want to sit and watch an entire live sports game, which is just kind of crazy because I'm not even a big sports person, but even I will watch an entire live sports game. Like, I really don't understand. Th so what I, are I, they I, doing? It said that they. So, like, they, my kids will sit and watch an entire sports game, but that doesn't mean they put down their phone and don't look at TikTok at the same time. Right. I don't know that they're. I don't understand. That. Right. Like, why? Why won't they watch an entire? Like, the Chiefs are on, or the. I mean, if we could watch the Royals, the Royals right. are on. Right. Right. So you're sitting down and they're watching a the game, and then I see them scrolling, and then, you know, they'll put it down, and watch it again. Like, it's not. I don't understand. They're multitasking right which maybe I that that can get annoying to me if i'm like you've got to watch this movie right like, yes. okay we'll watch it i'm like it's you have to pay it's attention the Godfather, man <laughs> right. you have to pay attention why are you watching tiktok yeah. <laughs> you know i get irrationally annoyed at that that drives so me I did, nuts so i just i don't do it but when they're on their phone watching a movie anybody really if you're yeah, like hey too. you gotta watch this movie and they're like drives me i'm insane. like god damn it and then when they ask drives questions well even if they don't ask questions i'm like you, you, you would like this movie because you, you don't want to be like hey look right now like look at this right. part yeah there's a big important. part you right. don't have to do that every five minutes it's mm -hmm. so goddamn annoying right. yeah but yeah. i mean with a baseball game it's easy yeah and well, I, you know they sure. walk around room and scroll like whatever you'll hear the crack of a bat you'll hear yeah. the announcer you look up I w i'm guessing that by the way they ask these questions for this poll that if your kids sit down and have the game on from beginning to end even if they're on tiktok uh, you know sporadically or the whole time that they would still count that because they sat down with the intention of watching the game it seems like yeah. they would count that but they said that the love of live sports love for live sports has started to dwindle, and it started to dwindle a lot, especially with Gen Z. Hmm. So 74% of them get most of their sports content from social media, okay? 65% of millennials uh, get their sports content from social media. But when they talked about live sports, they say, here, it seems to be dying out amongst younger generations. Only 58% of Gen Zers say they enjoy watching live sports. Hmm. So I don't even know if that means that you have to watch the full game. They say sitting down to watch the full game live could become a rare occurrence as younger generation of viewers demand short-form, snappy content with younger viewers favoring watching highlights and uh, opting to watch a game after it aired so that they can just see the highlights on you know whatever social media right. platform. That's why I wondered, does your kid ever say, I'll just watch the highlights later? I don't want to watch the game. I'll just watch the highlights later. I just thought that... No, well, not really. Okay, because you're a sports fan. But they are doing other stuff while it's on. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. I mean, I sort I mean, of and it's all, it's all the time. Like, if we're playing a video game and it's not their turn, they're I know. looking at something else. I yeah. mean, it, it doesn't bother me, but it's you know there has to be a constant attention to something. Yes. Right? Like, it has, there has to be something... Something new and something right. quick... And then move some on to sort the of new thing. content they're getting. Yep. You know. So I get it, but I, I would just imagine that people would watch the Chiefs games. And Me stuff. too. And I would think that's for Gen X and baby boomers and exactly. whoever now has a phone. I think 
scrolls through social media while the game's on. Yes, of course. I like, I think thing. everybody, I look in my head, I think everybody does. So you're right. looking for what people are saying about the game, too, if you're watching it. Of course. But if they're saying that whatever it is now, uh, you know, 40% or whatever, of kids, Gen Z kids, uh, are saying, I don't want to turn the game, the live game on. There's no reason to turn the live game on. I'll figure out what happened later by watching highlights. That would be crazy to me if that's what, I mean, that's what they're saying is happening. And right. I just find it hard to believe. You are in a big sports household. Your sons love yes. sports. You love sports. So obviously, that's a, a little bit biased. But you still watch live games. I am not in a sports household, and I'm not a big sports guy. What, Snowcone, would you say you and I are like equal, probably, when it comes to our like so. of sports? You might be a little more, but we're, we're basically well, equal. Well, but I think it evens out because you like KU basketball, which I know nothing about. That's true. Right? So I that's feel like... I think, you, I think we're equal. You know quite a bit about... The Chiefs, at least, and eh, the NFL. I think as much as you. Well, that's but okay. So, I think we're equal. So that's the thing. We're not sports people, but no. still, you want to watch the game on Sunday. Yeah, absolutely. Right? I mean, it's like a. I get excited about it. Like, Same. oh, they, I look since to I was Chiefs a kid, games. right? Yeah. The game's gonna be on. If I could watch the Royals game when I get home, I would turn it on. You know, right. and if someone yes, said, "Please, not. please turn this off," okay, yeah, of that's course. fine. If you got something else you want to watch, but my default will just be to turn that on. Yes, I am gonna be on my phone scrolling, doing other things, having conversations, but I would still turn the game on. It's crazy to me to, to think that this new generation would say, yeah, we're not into that. We don't, even, we don't want to turn the game on. We'll just get the highlights later. So I just wondered if your kids get excited about, like during the you know, NFL season, during football yeah. season, do they get excited, like turn the game on, and they want it on? Yeah. Or are they just watching it because you want to have it on? No, they'll watch, you know, I think, uh, yeah. They're not they're into too it. much. I think the younger ones, certainly football is like, you know, hey, let's watch this game. Yeah. Uh, and the older one, baseball, for sure. I mean... They can both watch both of them, but I think one's ex more excited for baseball and one's more excited for football. But that being said, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Yeah, they can sit down and watch an entire game. Well, am I, okay, so Detroit, this would be good. Maybe you could teach something. Because growing up in Kansas City, uh, I, you know, the love for the Chiefs has always been pretty damn mm -hmm. strong. And so even if you're not a sports fan at all, like, it, you know... Um, I've dated people don't like sports at all, but they want to. They'll watch the Chiefs, right? And well, so community. I just thought, yeah, I just thought that football was so popular in this country that even if you're not into sports, it's like the Super Bowl, right? I mean, how many people watch that? 150 yeah, right, million sure. or whatever it is. So I didn't know is that because I'm in a bubble and we just really like football here, or is if I was in Detroit, would it be the same way? If I grew up in Detroit, do you still you want to turn the game on even though the team's you know lousy this year or whatever? Is it still a big deal? Well, yeah. But because you've got other That's things, a big deal. maybe not as a big a deal here, though. Really? Okay. Just like people take family photos and Chiefs Jeez, jerseys. Yeah. And like I don't yeah. know that I saw a lot of that. Okay. Like it's a little bit. It's more here. Yeah. Okay. And I'm not saying I think everybody that I knew, if you walk over to their house, the Lions game would be on. Okay. Right. That's, that's but what it I wasn't wondered. like then we're gonna go get our J.C. Penny photos. <laughs> right, with our dressed as Travis Kelsey. Like, okay, I, like, I'm a sports fan, but you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, that's, it might be a little bit more here. I don't know why in my mind, if, if someone from Detroit was going to do that, I would think they'd be in a Red Wings jersey. Yeah, probably. But I don't know why like, that, that is. is probably so, like, true. like hockey fans, I could see them taking a family photo. Hockey is just basically soccer. Okay. it's Yeah, you've said that. It's like a uh, lower extension. amount of people, but then they gain their identity through it. Yeah. Right? So, like, it, it's really important to them. Okay. I guess I just thought if you lived in a town where you had a team, and, and, you know, a lot of places, parts of the country, they're more into college football because that's what they've sure. got is their college team. But who, whatever your team is, I just assumed that when the game was on, there's a good chance that the majority of people are going to be very interested to at least somewhat interested in having the game on. It, it kind of transcends... Like, you don't have to be a big yeah. sports fan no, that's true. To, to watch sports. You know what I mean? Yeah, but how many people were, like, we're saying, oh, people wouldn't sit down and watch the whole thing. I don't know that a ton of people, if the Lions game is on, or maybe the Chiefs is different, that are just staring at the TV. Really? Or if they're out, you know, walking around the living room doing other stuff, yeah. right? Like, they weren't on their phones, but were they, you know. Right. That's what I'm asking. I didn't know. Planting flowers and walking back. You know, the game's on, but it's not. Yeah. You know, I'm not so attentive to it that I can't do anything else. And, I mean, the team, you know, the team's had bad seasons, right? Sure. So it, it, I'm sure that that impacts it. I mean, when the Chiefs were really of bad course. for a couple of years, I know things probably changed. The thing is, though, I still wanted to watch the game. Well, we week. know that I, by the business that we do. So we know that – I should, probably shouldn't be saying this for people get mad. At least I seem to be able to, in my head, extrapolate this theory, and that is when the Chiefs aren't great, mm -hmm. the radio ratings go up. 
Mm. When the Chiefs are great, the TV ratings go up. Why mm. is that? That makes sense. Because if they're not great, you're like, well, the Chiefs are on. I want to know Depot. what's going on, but I also need to run to Home Depot, and i got to take my kid to this. So, so I just have the game on the radio. It's fine, right? Okay. Yeah, I know that makes sense. But... If you're like, man, these guys are seven and zero, we're gonna go like it. Now it's appointment watching. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. And the NFL specifically. So we know that that depending on how good they do depends on how attentive people are to the game. Right. And the way the NFL broadcast, I mean, they do such a good job with their broadcast. I can hear my bosses yelling at me. Like, for giving up for, for saying Why that? Why would you say that? Yeah, you already got in trouble once, right? Mm. For some, sending somebody something else. We were just talking about it. Now they're going to be mad at you for giving out mm. some sort of secrets. Why would they be mad about that? It's just a theory. And it also makes sense. I'm sure there's a lot of people listening that would say, yeah, that's what I do. You know, right. I'm more likely to make a run. And that's true. You know what? When Tyler Palco... Was hanging out. I'm more sure like, I um, went outside more often and did stuff. You, you know? were like, hey, have the pizza guy deliver the pizza. You're like, <laughs> right. I'll go pick it I'll up. I'll go pick it up. Right. Exactly. But still, I will turn it on. I w- there's still right. some sport. It's usually football, I think, just judged by you know the ratings and the numbers in this country, that even if it's just a Sunday night game, it, it, it's reality TV. It's, it's like the it's best, a, reality, the best TV. reality TV we have left. Exactly. It's awesome because it's actually real. And they've got these broadcasters that are the best you know, in, in the world that make it entertaining. You don't have to be a big sports fan. So the thought of uh, uh, young people not wanting to watch sports on TV, I, I don't, I'm not buying it. I, maybe they don't want to right now. Yeah, but I don't. I, ju- I'm not, I don't think they should be worried. I got to think. I just don't think that number is probably any higher. Like if you're a sports fan. And you are actually seeking out highlights of games. Right. Then I'm guessing there are games that you want to see. Like, exactly. Live. I had to see if they just said, you know, 58% and, you know, there's less sports fans in general. Okay, maybe that's true. I have no idea. I don't have any study. That's uh, maybe, you know, the greatest generation love baseball. A lot more people watch. Okay. But to say that. I guess the correlation they're trying to make is that people are going to stop watching sports because they're only going to watch the highlights. That makes me think a sports fan would still want to see... He may not have to see every game, yeah. but he's going to want to see the games that matter to him or her. Right. Exactly. You're obviously into sports. and, and But the number's been going down, so they say 77% of boomers like to watch live sports. Mm-hmm. But what, if they want to, you know, they prefer to watch it live. 62% of Gen X... Okay, and then it's fifty-eight percent of Gen Z. So they're saying this is a trend, but I'm saying, is there? Does that sh- show up in the ratings? Because I think it's one thing to say it in a poll, or maybe you're multitasking and you're on your phone or whatever. Right. God, man, I, I got to think that live sports aren't going to suffer I, because I of short attention that's spans. A, I mean, right? I, if I'm a TV executive and that's true, then we're in trouble. Because exactly. the only thing saving TV right now is live sports. That's what I'm saying. That's the right. one thing that that you know but is going to be will, good. Right. It's it's live. It's happening as we speak. I can't tape it. If I do tape it, I'm already going to know the goddamn yep. answers. Exactly. Right? And it's, it's live. It, so, and it's and good I think TV. That's it. Right. Exactly. I'm with, that's what I was trying to say this whole time, I think, is that it transcends all this because it is... It's really good TV. Because right. everything else I can watch when I want to watch it. Yes. But if TikTok keeps kids from watching live sports, then, and I was a parent, then I might be worried. At that point, I might be like, you know what? Sit down. I'm t- take your phone away game. and watch the goddamn game with me. Yes. I think if I can look at my kids and I, you know, look, it's a, you know, a, a group of two. Yeah. Right? Uh, a focus group of two. Uh, they scroll on their phones while they're watching a yeah. game or anything else. But It'd be we, a movie. They're scrolling on their phones. We probably do too. Not as much. I know. I, do. I, I put my phone down. I a do lot. all the time. Yeah, but uh, I mean, like Brooke's sister does that a lot. You know, yeah, just I on do the phone it. watching movies. I'm always whatever. scrolling through it. Yeah. So I, I don't know. And your sons? Do you notice any difference between the older and the younger? Like, is one on the phone more than no. the other? Since he's closer. No, it's the same. Mm-mm. And they're they're consuming basically the same content, right? Yeah, I think so. It's mostly TikTok and then social media yeah, and, and texting with the friends and texting with friends. Right. As as long as the game is on. Yeah, they're watching it. If something happens, they're like, oh. Cool. I just wouldn't want my kids to miss out on that feeling of, you know, how great it is when your team is on TV, especially when your team is on national TV, like right. on a Sunday night or whatever. I would want my kids to share at least some of that excitement because, right. like I said, again, you don't have to be a big sports fan to get excited. I think they do. Okay. Good. I, I'm not worried about it quite yet. I, I don't. I think this is could be misleading, and it could also be misleading the way the questions were asked. Yes, you're on your phone and saying you prefer to watch sports. Uh, on your phone. Well, no, no, maybe it could be a thing, you know, like uh, everything else. Like, maybe it's not on my phone. Like, they're saying, well, I don't know. 
They're saying, oh, they're not watching the game because they're on the phone. Right. That's well, misleading. let's, you know, is that correlation, causation, causation? But maybe if you ask my kids, like, would you sit down and watch a baseball game? Maybe if you just asked them, they'd say no. Mm hmm. Because the Royals aren't on that. It's not watchable. Right. Like, so there's a lot of other factors that need to be. Right. Like, right now, would you sit down and watch a sporting event live in its entirety? I think both of their answers would be. My oldest would be yes, because he'd watch a Mariners game. My youngest would be like, not the whole thing. Right. But his team's not on. Right. I think like, that's like, I'd fair. probably watch four or five innings of the Padres. Right, that's right? fair. That's who he likes now. Yes. Well, and I don't then, feel the need to watch it from the first inning. No, and maybe he accidentally turns on and does end up sitting right, through the yeah. whole game. Yeah, but that to say happen. you want to sit down and do this. Right, I think your team has to be watchable. Yes, I, that, and that makes sense, and that's why I asked about the right. Lions, you know, in Detroit. Right. You have all the competition up there with the other teams, but I just well, I don't believe football it. season, if you asked him, are you going to sit down and watch your team that's, play? He'd be like, yes, That's of what I'm saying. And my oldest could be like, meh, Man, but maybe not. Really? Uh, like I don't think he'd sit down and watch. I don't think he'd be like, yeah, let's sit down and watch the Chiefs. No, really, not my oldest. Oh man, interesting. But but what about the Seahawks if they're on? Yeah. Oh, but just just kind of like yeah, yeah, I'll watch, yeah, it, I'll watch it. Not they're it on. doesn't have that excitement that it's baseball oh, for one and football for the other. Okay, but it's just because they're in. But they the watch sports, them both. Yeah. yeah. But you yeah. know, one's certainly more passionate. Like, all right, this is about to start. I got to watch this. Yeah. Okay. I just think if, like you said, I agree with what you were saying about the the phones and what does it mean exactly. I, if they if they ended this with hey we looked at this we got all these numbers and then you can see the TV ratings going down mm -hmm. then I'd say okay well you're onto something but I don't believe that that's happening I've not no, heard anything about the ratings going down I do not want football to go away because it's not going away. because Gen Z doesn't like it I would make it's you really angry away. when millennials are all old even if they're saying it's down four percent you know what that difference is between that and everything that's else true. on TV they're still making six right, trillion dollars just the one thing that still works that's true it ain't going anywhere. that's true.